hiking. Hiking is a characteristic that can get you in a lot of trouble in your golf swing. Let's let me first just define it. Normally, when you get to the top of the backswing, the first thing we're gonna see from a normal ground reaction forces is we're gonna see a lateral weight shift. Now, if you watch me from face on, when I push from my right to my left, naturally, my left hip gets higher. In the downswing with most players, you'll see the right hip starts to go down, left hip starts to go up. That helps shallow the club, creates what we call a little bit of rock and roll torque this way. And then they go through their swing and the rest is history. Unfortunately, in hiking, something different happens. Here's what happens. They get to the top of the backswing and usually we don't see much of a weight shift at all. What we'll see is instead the player starts to rotate early. Now when they start to push or create that vertical force, the right hip goes high and it stays high. Now it becomes really difficult because now you're steep, you're outside in, and to get the club shallow, a lot of times you have to side bend, and if you side bend with your upper body, with your right hip up in the air, that can create some serious back problems. Great example here, here's Cameron Tringali from the Live Tour, done hiking most of his career, and this is the top of the backswing. Normally, we see the first ground reaction force, lateral motion, occurs slightly before the top of the backswing. You can see Cameron doesn't do it till later in his swing. So now when his other ground reaction forces, especially as verticals start to kick in, you'll see the right hip starting to go high. And that can create some serious path plane problems. The key here is start with lateral weight shift.